morning, children. Good morning, teacher. Please sit down. Thank you, teacher. How are you all? I am doing good children. Thank you. What did you all do yesterday evening? Rohan, what did you do yesterday evening? I am going to my friend house. You went to your friend's house. That's good. What did you do there? Play with my friends. Oh, you played with your friends. That's good. Please sit down. Raghu, what did you do? You went to your uncle's house? Aunt teacher. Good. That is nice. Sit down. Yeah, Sudha. How are you feeling today? Taginda? Good. Okay, you must eat well. Water baga tagali. Okay na? Okay. Sit down. Children? Do you all have friends at school? Yes, teacher. Anu, what do you do when you meet your friend? We talk, we play. You play with your friends. Very good. Sit down. Raghu, do you fight with your friends? Appu appu do kotlaartam teacher. Appu appu do. Sometimes, sit down. Then after you finish fighting. Malli matlaad kunta ra? Kati paina ka dosu gudang aitam teacher. That's so nice of you. Today's lesson is what Rohan is saying, what Anu is saying, all about this. Today our lesson is also about friends. Let's see the name of our lesson. Let's be friends. Our lesson is let's be friends. Come on, let's all open our textbook at page number 5. When you open page 5, you all can see a picture. I want you all to observe the picture for a minute or two. Yes ma, did you all open page 5? Yes, look into this picture, good. Look for the words related to the picture. Here boys, did you do? Yes, look into the picture. You must give me words related to this picture, good. Look into the picture. You must give me words one after the other. The words related to the picture only. Okay? Yes. Who is going to start? Class. 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 School. 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 Boy. Boy. Girl. Girl. A pillar got aid is to teacher. A boy is crying. Okay. Cry. Who else? A kapila got do. Gichitun teacher. Pinch. Yes. Sit down. Pinch. A kabai choose to narrow teacher. A boy is peeping. Good. Sit down. Shout, teacher. Shout. Children, you have given me so many words related to the picture. Well done, children. Now, I will ask you a few questions. Related to the picture on page 5. Try to answer them. I will write your responses on the blackboard. Answer to the question. If you know the answer, you can raise your hand. Then you can give your answer. Okay, children? Okay, teacher. Look into the picture. 
and tell me what is the place you see in the picture anybody knows the answer yes ma school school good can you tell it in a complete sentence this is a school this is a school very good sit down this is a school children look into the picture what are the children at the door doing yes peeping children are peeping very good sit down children are peeping can you name the children in the picture leela hari ragu leela hari ragu yes hari ragu are there in the picture tell me who is pinching ragu is pinching what is there in hari's hand oka pinnu undi teacher yes there is a pin in hari's hand there is a pin in hari's hand can you tell me who is crying ragu is crying teacher very good ragu is crying priya who is pinching now tell me the answer hari is pinching teacher very good it is hari who is pinching hari is pinching children we have written words and sentences on the blackboard now shall we read them now i'll point out at some word and somebody from the boys can read who wants to read yes you can stand yeah read this class boy bench pinch laugh good junith you have read well please sit down somebody from the girls will you read the sentences yes uh read this this is a yes school children are peeping ragu is crying very good you have read well children let us know what are naming words what are action words first naming words words which tell us the names of people places and also things all these are naming words words which tell us the actions like eat drink sleep all these are actions these are action words okay let's do the activity now i have the slips with me one after the other you come pick a card and read the word and place it if it is a naming word you have to put in this box naming word box if it is an action word you have to put it in the action word box shall we start will you come one after the other yes i want somebody to come from this side first yes hari naming word very good who wants to come from here yes pinch action word good next who wants to come laugh action word good next yes lakshmi p yes naming word 
peep is a naming word you say okay peep is a thing no it is a place no uh everyna pera notice so it's not a thing it's not a place it's not a name peep is to see tongi chudadam so what is peep now is it an action word or a naming word action word very good lakshmi who wants to come yes school naming word very good children you have done very well shall we clap <laughs> children let's do another activity we'll see how we can add ing to action words we have learned action words cry is an action word to this cry when we add ing we have the word crying whenever there is an action word when you add ing ing you can add ing it becomes cry cry becomes crying so let's see how the words change when we add ing cry becomes crying cry crying pinch becomes pinching shouting 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 Very good children you have done well Children now we'll do the worksheet all of you open your workbooks and we'll do today's worksheet first i'll show you and tell you what to do okay this is the worksheet for today in this you have three exercises you have a picture first exercise is you have some words you must circle the words which are related to the picture second exercise is you have space to write action words action words from the picture again third exercise you have five sentences but they are not in order you know the incident what happened according to that order you must write the sentence these are jumbled sentences okay so tomorrow we'll continue our class till then all of you take care and i appreciate all of you for doing good today okay bye bye thank you teacher thank you children good morning children good morning Please be seated. Thank you, teacher. How are you all today? I am fine, teacher. How are you, teacher? I am also good, dear. Thank you. Did you all have your breakfast in the morning? Yes, teacher. That's good. You should never skip your breakfast. Okay? Okay. Yesterday we did page five. Do you all remember? There was a picture. so that was uh, the picture based understanding we had isn't it now that's your version of the story now today let us listen what really happened between hari and ragu as i tell you you must listen carefully when you are listening you must relate it to the place you must relate it to the people the characters in the story okay and the events Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Ding dong, ding dong. The school bell rang. After the break, all the children entered the classroom. They were waiting for their teacher to come. Suddenly, they heard a scream. Ouch! 
Everybody was wondering, what is this sound? Ninja you tell me, what is this sound? Children, can you tell me the sound of the bell? How did the bell sound? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Yes, that's the sound of the bell. So, when the bell rang, the children came. Where were the children before the bell? In the ground, teacher. Yes, they may be in the ground. That's true. Uh, what are they doing in the ground? Playing, teacher. Yes, you are right. Then why did they come inside? Bell in the kada teacher. Yes, because the bell rang, everybody came inside. What was that sound, that scream they heard? Ouch. Good, sit down. Atlanta scream shabdam in pitch in the other. Adi ema yunda chanakuntar. What do you think it is? Imagine. Yes? Everina padipar and kunta teacher. Ah, she says, Yavarina padipa in dochu. Nijime gada. Mirila anukuntunaru. Kan nijanga ema in the telsa. Vinandi. I'll tell you. You listen. When that sound came, everybody was surprised. That sound came from outside the classroom. All the children peeped out of the door. They wanted to see what's happening out. Then they saw Raghu walking towards the classroom. Raghu was rubbing his arm like this. He was very sad. His eyes brimmed with tears. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! There was one more boy, Hari, who is following Raghu. Both of them came into the classroom. Then all the children, they flocked around Raghu. Then the girls started asking, Raghu, why are you crying? What happened to you, Raghu? Raghu was very sad and he said, Hari pinched me. He was rubbing his arm and he said, Hari pinched me. Then one girl, Swapna, she said, Ah, Hari, oh, he is really a bad boy. While they were talking like this, the teacher entered the classroom. Once the children saw teacher coming, they all went back to their places and they were seated in their places. You understand what I say? Yes? yes? Okay, let me see how far you understood. When the children were peeping out of the door, what did they see? Whom did they see? Who was following Raghu? Teacher, Hari followed Raghu. Children, why was Raghu crying? Because Hari pinched him. Yes. Now, there was one girl who said about Raghu. Swapna. What did she say about Hari? Hari was a bad boy. You are right. Then, uh, who entered the classroom? Teacher, Achindi, teacher. Children, let's do an activity now. Children, here are some sentences with blanks. You have to come one by one and fill in the blanks. To help you, I also have the words in the blanks like this. You have to choose which word goes into which blank and you can place it there. Okay? Shall we do this activity? Yes. Who wants to come? Come ma. Come. One day the school bell rang dash. Which word you will choose? Ding. Yes. You can paste it there. Very good. From boys, who wants to come? Come. All the children were dash for the teacher to come. Which word you want to choose? Waiting. Waiting. Good. All the children were waiting for the teacher to come. Good. Now the last one. Girls, come. 
the teacher dash the classroom yes good the teacher entered the classroom children you have done the activity well all of you supplied the correct words in the blanks and you did well so let's appreciate ourselves you did well very good children now let's do a role play okay so in this role play what we have seen in the picture on page 5 that same thing we'll do it as a role play we have seen about hari and ragu isn't it the same incident will role play you know hari pinched ragu ragu came crying into the class then what did all the children ask the children complain isn't it you all said not children will complain ragu also will complain <coughs> then teacher also must have asked hari no why did you do like this all these things you must keep in your mind and we'll do the role play okay i'll help you in that first let's decide the characters in the play ragu first who will be ragu you want to play the role of ragu please come come and stand here okay now he wants to be ragu now i want hari who will be hari who can act come so this will be hari and uh, who else inka ever kaval man ki ee role play cheyadan ki children children yes classmates kada we want uh, two girls we'll take two girls yes two girls for classmates you both want to be that yes you can stand there and we want one more character teacher who will be the teacher come yes children now who is teacher you are teacher you just hold this like this uh ragu you are ragu no hold like this and hari now we'll discuss the dialogues okay now hari and ragu hari is pinching ragu then what he will say when he cries your students no you must ask what why are you crying like that you must ask hmm? then the teacher will come she will ask why he is crying hmm? you must ask why he is crying and then you also can complain you must tell teacher your complain like that okay so we'll write the dialogues you'll prepare the dialogues i'll help you and then we'll role play okay very good children you all did so well let's clap for them <laughs> very good children very good yes you can sit in your places now okay now it's time for worksheets now all of you open your workbooks and we'll do today's worksheet first let me explain what you must do in the worksheets okay this is today's worksheet first of all don't forget to write date here okay then the first exercise is write the words related to school so all the words related to school you must write here and the second exercise is opposites here are a few words vaatiki opposites raayali the third one is you can see the picture there are few sentences A sentence says the e picture ton match outado. A sentence ki put a tick mark. Did you understand? Yes, so all of you sit silently and work on these worksheets. Okay? Yes. You understood about the worksheets, no? Okay. So you must do this worksheet. Okay? So here ends our class for today. So we'll continue in the next class. Till then, take care. 
Bye bye children. Thank you teacher. Thank you children.